The American people deserve answers about what happened in Butler County, Pennsylvania and West Palm Beach, Florida. And if there is in fact a conspiracy, those involved must face justice. Until that happens, no one in the America First movement is safe. Joining me now to discuss is Colorado Congresswoman Lauren Boebert. Congresswoman, good to have you with us today. Thank you, it's great to be with you. Sorry, it's for this reason. Uh yeah, it's, I'm, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. We, we've had a press conference earlier today, and uh, we heard from a sheriff who seems to think there may possibly be a conspiracy. Uh, what concerns you about how all of this went down? Well, a psychotic supporter of Ukraine attempted to assassinate President Trump at his home in Mar-a-Lago. If the former president of the United States of America isn't safe at his home, own home. No one in America is safe. And that's what you get under Biden-Harris. Uh, this regime has been out of control for three and a half years with their propaganda and controlling the media, their rhetoric. And the fact that we are now talking about two assassination attempts just 65 days apart shows how much of a dangerous time we are in in American history. And I would argue that the vile Democrat rhetoric is to blame for it. Kamala Harris has said repeatedly, Trump is a threat to our democracy and fundamental freedoms. Now, this is the party who stripped all of your First Amendment uh, freedoms away during the COVID pandemic and, uh, and many, many others. Uh, but also Kamala Harris has said it's on us to recognize the threat Trump possesses. Kamala Harris also says, uh, does does one of us have to come out alive? Ha, 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 ha. Maybe that's more of a cackle. But this is what Kamala's rhetoric is like. She's making jokes about this. I mean, even Joe Biden said it's time to put Trump in a bullseye. We have members of Congress like Jason Crow in Colorado, who says Trump is an extreme danger to our democracy. Steve Cohen, Trump is an enemy of the United States. Adam Schiff, Trump is the uh, gravest threat to our democracy. And I could go on and on. Uh, you know, uh, there's, there's so many people who are attacking him. And just as it was said earlier, dehumanizing President Trump, his family, and all of his supporters. If you are a conservative in America, if you are a Republican, if you want America to have policies that represent uh, an American that has policies uh, represent our country first, then you are the enemy and they will do anything to slander and assassinate your character or even right. assassinate you. Uh, so this is a dangerous time and it's unfortunate that there have been two attempts on President Trump's life. Do you have confidence that the Secret Service can keep President Trump safe? I am a member of the Oversight and Accountability Committee, and I do not have any such confidence. Uh, we had Director Cheadle in the day before she resigned. She refused to answer any of our questions. She lied before us. Uh, you know, or, or just uh, simply acted like she didn't have the answers and only the FBI did when she absolutely saw the details uh, that we were requesting from her. And we have not seen any accountability since. Now, President Trump says that he's going to create a commission when he's president, uh, a, a commission to oversee the federal government and hold them accountable, whether it's for their spending or their actions, and, uh, and have uh, possibly Elon Musk as the director of, of this commission. You know, we, we used to call this Congress, but unfortunately the agencies that Congress has allocated taxpayer money to and has authorized to exist refuses to answer to us. I, I do not have confidence in the leadership of the Secret Service. I know we have fantastic agents, and President Trump has very lo loyal agents that are by his side day in and day out, and there are many others throughout our country, but it is the leadership that is a problem. And uh, of course, we could go into the speculations of Department of Homeland Security and Secretary Mayorkas, who has been impeached uh, in the House of Representatives, and there's certainly no confidence there. The Biden-Harris regime has set out to weaponize the federal government and destroy every agency within it since day one, starting with opening the border, allowing illegal aliens, criminal aliens even, into our country and dismantling everything. They want to overrun and overwhelm every part of the system 
because they hate the current system and they want a new one that they are in control of setting up and executing. Uh, this has been a part of their plan. And it's unfortunate that President Trump, who has been financially um, destroyed by them uh, or attempted to, he, his character um, has been slandered. He has been put in court. He's been in, indicted. They want mm. to throw him in jail. And now they're trying to kill him. Um, this is a very sad day in America. November 5th cannot come soon enough. And I pray for President Trump's safety. Look, I, I'm sure you feel the same way. Yes. President Trump isn't just a, a former president or a future president. He is a friend. He is a father. And his he, he is someone who whose life matters. And, uh, and, and that value needs to be shown uh, and honored just as every one of us. And now we all have to think about these threats because of the propaganda that comes from uh, the left on a daily basis and how they get in the minds of American citizens and, and uh, accuse us of being something that we're not. All right. Well, Congresswoman, uh, we're going to have to leave it there. Appreciate your great words there. Thank you for joining us today on Newsmax. Thanks so much.